Here's an example of a problem where we're going to calculate speed. A student runs the 1600 meter race with a total time of 5 minutes and 14 seconds or 314 seconds using SI units. Each time the student passes the starting line, her coach writes down her total time, as indicated in the chart below. Calculate the student's average speed for each lap. Now, all of the measurements here are in SI units. The SI unit for time is seconds, and the SI unit for distance is meters. And so the SI unit for speed is actually going to be meters per second. And it's the same for velocity. Okay, so let's start on this problem. We have all of the data here, and what we want to do is calculate the speed, the average speed for each lap. So I'm going to start with lap number one here. And the equation for speed is going to be V equals distance over time. And we could put that little line above there to say that it's an average speed. So the total distance traveled in this first lap was 400 meters, starting at zero and moving to 400. So we could say the final distance minus the initial distance, in this case it's going to be 400 minus zero. So it's really going to be 400 meters. And the total time, we could say the same thing here, where it's the final time minus the initial time and it's again going to be 69.0 seconds minus zero so we could just say 69.0 seconds and so we have 400 divided by 69 seconds and so we get a average speed here of 5.79 meters per second and so there's the first lap Let me just circle that one and let's move on to the second lap here. Okay, so lap number two, we have the same equation here. And when I'm looking at the second lap here, I'm going to start with this distance. The final distance here, if I'm using this equation over here, was 800 meters. The initial distance would be where she ended up or, or ended off there from the previous lap, which was the 400 meters. So we could say here 800 meters minus 400 meters and it should be the same distance as the first lap 400 meters and we'll do the same with the time so we have a hundred and forty four point six seconds minus sixty nine point zero seconds and so the difference here in time would be seventy five point six seconds and when we do the calculation here we get five point two nine meters per second and so that is her time for her second lap there and let's move on to her third lap lap number three same equation v equals d over t and this time we have twelve hundred meters is her final distance here where she started was the previous finishing of the other lap, so 800. So we're going to have 1,200 meters minus 800 meters. And if we compare her time here, we have total time here, or the final time of that lap, was 222.9 seconds minus the 144.6. And so we have 222.9 seconds minus 144. 6 seconds so we have 400 meters once again divided by a time of 78.3 seconds and so for her third lap we have a time or an average speed here of 5.10 meters per second and the fourth lap so lap Number four, speed equals distance over time. And 1,600 meters minus 1,200 meters. You can see where I got those numbers here by looking back at the chart. There's our 1,600 minus the 1,200, and we have 314 seconds. That's our final time, 
minus that initial time there of 222.9. And so we have 314 seconds minus the initial time. And so we get a speed of 4.39 meters per second. And there's the speed, average speed of her fourth lap. And so if we look at all of our times here, here's our four times, uh, we could see that she gradually slowed down. So it looks like she kind of ran out of gas near the end of the race and probably started off a little bit too quickly there with that 69 second first lap. You could see by the end, um, she got much, much slower. Now, if we were to calculate her velocity um, on the other side here, velocity, remember, is, is going to be equal to her total change in position. So velocity is equal to delta d over t. Now, she started, we'll say, at the zero point or the, um, the starting line. And since the starting line and the finishing line are in the exact same position, she really didn't have a total change in position. She just kept coming back to the same spot each time. So her velocity would have been equal to zero. If we actually did the math here, you could see that she didn't change her position overall. It took her 314 seconds to do that. And so in the end, her total velocity was zero meters per second.